hello everyone today's video we are going to look how we can get for dividend what is dividend how we can get for dividend okay uh, under the dfm listed stock how we can claim it okay for uh, in india while well, compare with india as well as uae okay for india we can get the dividend automatically suppose if you open for the dmat account for the uh, brokerage firm okay everything should be linked with the stock exchanges automatically the respective dividend amount credited to your bank account but in uae not like this okay you need to keep for a uh, brokerage firm account what is a exchange okay there are two exchanges will be available dfm as well as for adx okay those two application you should have suppose dfm listed stock you bought in a sense for the dfm application you need to claim it the stock you bought for adx in a sense for the adx application you need to claim it for brokerage application for the use of buying and selling the share that's it so from here you need to handle for uh, three or four more application uh, that is for accessing for all the application required for uae pass dfm application required adx application is required as well as for brokerage for uh, mobile application is required suppose if you are doing for trading okay okay let me see right now this video i will show you the real example how i received for the dividend through dfm okay because i bought the share from uh, dfm listed stock for emirates nbd i already posted for the video how to buy for a shares okay i have a playlist also for uh, uae stock market that one you can go through for a playlist whatever required uh, detail educational related detail is required for the stock market related to uae everything i posted over there okay one by one it is coming already couple of video i posted you can go through it okay let me see how we can uh, check it first we should know what is dividend so the dividend is distribution of earning call it as dividend okay distribution of earnings we are running for a company we earn for a profit for the financial year we think to distribute that profit a portion of profit to a shareholder okay while they are uh, thinking and taking decision okay that portion of profit we can share to the shareholder that's call it as dividend that's it some company they will give you for quarterly hourly and annually from the emirates nbd they are giving for annually okay so that is 1.2 aed that is 1 dirham 2 fills they have distributed for the shareholder for this financial year okay i already told you i bought the share for 545 what you need to do you have to go for dfm uh, application or else from here dfm financial market okay and from here you can check it go to investing and from here it's available for dividend distribution right click this one once you are clicking this one you have to come down from here it's available based on year wise how many companies are known for the dividend okay so based on that we will get for the dividend over here okay this is what the dividend 20 24 some of the companies have been announced okay so i will explain to you the company name will be available here agm date in a sense annual general meeting date that is a announcement date okay entitlement date will be a record date okay normally while you are getting for a dividend the very important thing for the record date before that record date you need to buy for the dividend okay in the record date if your name is available in their books of account in a sense you will receive for the dividend in india they will call it as a record date and from here they will mention for entitlement date and under this they have provided for t plus 0 that is t plus 0 in a sense transaction day plus 0 it means example if you are buying a share for 15th april in a sense on 15th april it has been credited for their books of account that's a thing in india they will say for t plus 1 okay if you are buying share by today it will be credited respective uh, company's account by tomorrow that is t plus 1 and from here t plus 0 what's the day you are buying as the same day it should be credited for the respective account that is a thing t plus 0 and from here x dividend date 
x dividend date always should be uh, one year uh, that is a one day after the record date you can look all those things that is a record date 15 4 that is a 16 4 for x dividend date 21 and it will be 22 that is a one day after for the x dividend date okay so you need to focus from here only entitlement date you need to buy okay and for the settlement date you can look here t plus 2 okay example for the settlement date if it is available for 17 in a sense you will get it for two days after in your uh, the respective thing will be reflected in your account for after two days and dividend percentage some companies they will give you for the percentage okay and some companies they will give you for fills like this okay and some companies uh, example which i bought for uh, emirates and bd okay i will show you over here emirates and bd that is 21 8 sorry 21 february and 29 uh, february for a record date so i bought the share 27 as well as 28 okay so before that you can buy okay some cases if it is not credited in a sense you will lose the money right anyhow for a dividend stock if you are buying in a sense how much of dividend they are providing that much of amount will be reduced by next day that's a thing so 29 february will be a record date and from here you can look 1.2 they are giving and settlement date you can look 5th march they are giving because uh, I did not receive for 5th March while you are looking my message uh, I received for April 22nd I think um, yeah April 22nd I received April 1st I sent for the request to them that time only I know this is a way we need to request for the dividend and uh, they send for email within 10 working days i will get it due to public holiday and all those things get it delay so april 22nd i received for the dividend in my bank account so this is what the settlement date uh, sorry this is what the payment date for the dividend payment date 5th march they they provided for shareholders okay so this is a way you can go through over here whatever company is available these are all the important things and you can do for the analysis also for the earlier uh, previous year this company provided for dividend or not based on that you can take a decision and you can buy for a share some of the people will expect only for the dividend they will buy for a share right so that's the reason i am telling to you so based on that you can buy i will show you how you need to climb through dfm application okay where the information you are getting that is what i am explaining right now the important things and all now we will see how you can climb the dividend okay just you can click for uh, dfm application okay and this is what the interface uh, will show over here okay home button market overview and whatever feature is available what is the use of dfm application okay uh, those things i will post for a new video from there you can get at all the detail okay and from this video we are going to look only for uh, climbing dividend okay so right now i am clicking for the portfolio from this portfolio i am looking how many share is available from this it will show okay whatever uh, dfm listed company if you are buying a share in a sense it will show over here we already calculated for the dividend also 545 into 1.2 we will get it for 654 right so i am uh, looking this one then you have to go for home button come down it's available for quick link right under the quick links you can click for e-services from this e-services it's available for cash dividend payment method suppose if you want iVestar card you can receive the payment for uh, dividend payment by two way either bank account or else in iVestar card iVestar card is a uh, card it's like a atm card it's a free card you can receive for the dividend that same card you can use it for uh, for purchase groceries and all those things how you are using for credit card and debit card as the same way you can use it this iVestar card also there is no maintenance charge there is no annual fees available for this iVestar card okay but from here i did not apply for iVestar card okay i am getting my dividend through bank account whether your bank account related to uae or some other country both cases you can get it so i am clicking here cash dividend payment method once you are clicking this one it will open for you uh, for your account first okay just you need to verify your account everything will be proper or not then you have to click us continue over here okay so right 
so it will show you like this just you can click as continue over here once you are clicking as continue it will give you current payment method these are all the payment method is available either uh, existing account you can transfer or else iVestor card or else new bank account you can transfer okay these are all the method only available so I am clicking as continue over here I want to receive uh, the cash uh, dividend through iVestor card or bank account I am receiving through bank account so I am clicking this one click as continue the account which is available in UAE or outside UAE okay based on that you have to select my account available in UAE so I am selecting for UAE over here and from this one you can uh, check it the bank account should be in the name of investor yes correct please attach the bank statement for uh, certified bank letter stating clearly the bank account detail okay you need to attach for the statement at least for one month statement you can attach bank transfer may be subject to charges and your foreign exchange uh, conversion rate which may detect from the cash dividend amount by the transferring bank suppose the foreign bank which is available in a sense whatever transferring uh, fees will be applicable that applicable charges they will detect after that only they will deposit for your dividend that is what they are telling so click us continue and from here if you want the amount through AED in a sense you have to put for IBAN AED suppose you need for uh, UST in a sense you have to put for IBAN UST okay and for the uh, bank letter that is a statement you have to attach over here so for the name should be match IBAN number and account currency should be clear over there in your bank statement okay I am not doing anything else from here cancel existing iVestar card because I am not having iVestar card suppose if you are having iVestar card but even though you required for the bank account in a sense just you can click here cancel existing iVestar card okay then you can click a submit I am not submitting over here because I don't have any available stock to receive the dividend right now so that's the reason I am not giving it okay just you can click us submit okay and automatically it will gives you one ticket okay and based on that ticket uh, you have to track it in your dividend suppose you can you are waiting for one week or two weeks you are not getting in a sense what you need to do just you can go back click here for more go to contact us send us your question or suggestion you can call straight away or else you have to send through this message and this message also give you one ticket number okay and click us continue along with the documents so the dfm representative they will give you a respond reply through your email id which is the uh, registered email id you provided for dfm application okay this is a way you will uh, claim your dividend i will show you for the message which i received from uh, dfm okay how much amount uh, i received from your uh, message i am going and for uh, dfm see here so 650 it's available right 654 has been transferred your bank account kindly check your account to working days note bank transfer charges may be applied for inquiries you can bank charges uh, may be applied like that they told okay so this is a way i received i checked for my account also it has been credited this is a way you will get the message at the same time it will be credited suppose if it is available for foreign bank in a sense it will take for uh, the delay normally which you are sending for uh, money transfer right as the same delay will be persist over here also after detecting some charges little charges that's it I think uh, this is a way you need to apply for uh, getting dividend for a DFM application as the same process you can follow for ADX also because I did not buy the share but even though such kind of uh, options is available in ADX application so you can get it as the same way okay. I think this video will be helpful for you if it is helpful you can subscribe this channel and keep on watch for future videos okay thank you friends thank you for watching this bye.